everyone, welcome to today's video. We are super excited because we're gonna do another how-to toe to bar. We're here to help you get your toes to bar so you can start crushing them in your workouts. At the end of this video, we're gonna give you a test to determine is it strength, is it mobility, what is keeping us from being able to string our toes to bar. So stay with us, we've got some awesome tips for you and we're gonna help you level up your toes to bar. Tip number one is a pet peeve of mine and that is thumb over top of the bar. So when we're hanging from the rig, whether we're beginners or we've been doing crossfit for a long time, for whatever reason, it seems natural to go thumb over top. That gives us a lot of disadvantages and are gonna make all of our movements from the rig more challenging. So something that's gonna happen if I'm going thumb over top of the bar is I'm likely gonna be slipping into my fingertips, which is gonna make it harder for me to engage my lats. If I go thumb around the rig, that does a few things for me. First, it's gonna make it a little bit easier for me to engage my lats. And I've also got the ability to push and pull myself away from the rig. So just like if we were grabbing anything else, now I can manipulate my body. The second thing that it does is for most of us, we might have enough reach to where now I can get my thumb over top of my finger and I can get a little bit of a mini hook grip, which is gonna make it easier for me to stay on the pull-up bar. Tip number two is gonna be our head position and where we're looking during our toe -to bar. I personally think this is the lowest hanging fruit and the easiest thing to change to make our toe -to bar easier. And what that means is that when I'm kipping through, I'm gonna be gently looking at the ground in front of me. And when I'm back behind my kip, I'm gonna be gently looking at the pull-up bar. We see a lot of people that when they're doing their toe -to bar, their head stays in between their arms the entire time. And that does two things. One, it stops my kipping motion. And two, it lengthens the range of motion that I've got to hit to get my toes up to the bar. So what we're gonna think about is when I'm kipping through on my toe -to bar, I'm just gonna gently look down at the ground and that's gonna help me accentuate my kip through. And when I'm coming back, I'm gonna gently look up at the pull-up bar to where now I'm naturally accentuating the kip and also shortening the motion that I've gotta to get to touch my toes to the pull-up bar. Third, we wanna talk about kipping and body position. This is gonna be really important to making sure that we're using the momentum and that we're not fighting our own body. So when we talk about kipping and body position, we're all familiar with the hollow body and the hollow arch. We should be doing that during our toes to bar. And something we wanna think about is kind of where the rig posts are. We never wanna have our entire body behind the rig post or our entire body in front of the rig post. If that's happening, then we're gonna be fighting our own body. So instead, what we wanna think about is using our rig posts and keeping our mass in the center. So if I'm pushing back, I'm now in my hollow body, my feet are in front of the rig post and my upper body is behind. Then as I come through, my feet are now behind the rig post as my upper body is through and in front. I'm never whole body on one side or the other. Today's video is sponsored by Bear Mattress a premium mattress designed to upgrade your sleep, improve your lifestyle, and your overall quality of life. Bear created their mattresses with premium quality materials sourced from small family-owned partners here within the USA. Bear mattress comes with a lifetime warranty and is conveniently shipped right to your door for free. Since sleeping on my elite hybrid Bear mattress, I can honestly say I sleep deeper, I wake up feeling rejuvenated and refreshed and ready to tackle my day. Everybody has different preference and sleep positions. Bear has made a online quiz that will help you take out the guesswork so you can find a mattress that is suitable for you. The sleep quiz will help you find the perfect mattress for your needs. There's a 120 night sleep trial to test the mattress so you can ensure that you absolutely love it. Thanks Bear for sponsoring today's video. To learn more, visit bearmattress.com to get 30% off, make sure to use code Christy Ermo O'Connell. Now let's get back to the video so we can master those toes to bar. One other thing I like to talk to people about when thinking about body position is what our shoulder blades are doing in our scaps. So this is gonna help us propel our body. So when I am thinking about getting my upper body through and forwards, I wanna think about squeezing my shoulder blades back together. So then I can pull my shoulder blades apart and pull my body back behind the bar. So it's a squeeze, and a pull, and that power is gonna be generated in our scaps to keep our body and everything moving together. One drill that we really love that's gonna kind of teach you how to feel that body position to make sure your feet are behind when your chest is through and that you can really get the drive and the pop from your hip is gonna be the banded toes to bar. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a red band and we're gonna hook it to the rig so it goes across the pull-up bar from the squat rack to the other section. And from here, we wanna make sure that that band is gonna be below our knee, somewhere between our knee and our ankle. One tip when you're doing this, you actually wanna use the opposite J-hook. So when you do it and the band is pulling, you need to have the J-hook that has the side to pull into it. Otherwise your J-hook is gonna to wanna to move. 
Once you have your band set up, then we're gonna start with small kips, slowly raising our legs higher and higher, using the tension from the band to help us drive those legs up. You wanna think about staying nice and tight. In gymnastics, we are gonna be rewarded by keeping ourselves as tight as possible so our body stays in that nice straight line and we can use the power from our hips and our glutes to be able to help us drive our legs up. So you'll notice what happens is I pull down on the rig, which we're gonna talk about next, and then as my chest comes through, my feet are going back, my calves make contact with the band. When that happens, it's kind of a really nice tactile cue for me to realize, okay, I'm at my full forward swing, now it's time to pull the rig back. I'm also getting that extra pop from the band, so it helps me find that natural rhythm. So a lot of times when people are doing their toes to bar, we do a really great job hitting our toes to the bar, but then we just let our legs fall and we lose all of our tightness and all of our tension. So this band is gonna help us realize how tight we need to stay and when it's time to pull our legs back up by pulling down on the rig. So once we start to understand kind of where our body should be, we can really start to focus on pushing away from the bar. We can also kind of do this too simultaneously because pushing away from the bar is gonna help us be able to get our chest through the window. So when I say push away from the bar, imagine this PVC pipe is my rig and I'm hanging under it. What I don't wanna do is hang under and have to lift my feet all the way up and around. Instead, I wanna think about pushing that bar down so then I only have to bring my feet up, but not quite as far, right? So if I push down, my toes hit the bar, then I can allow myself to come through. Then I push down or pull down, allow myself to come through. So that's gonna be a really heavy lat driven movement that's gonna really help us find that rhythm so that we're not fighting our body and we can work on getting the chest through as the legs are behind and then the chest back as the legs come forward. So in the toes bar, you will notice at no point do my elbows bend. And that's because I can get really good lat engagement, keeping my arms nice and long. I'm using this muscle right here to try to drive my eyes in line with the rig. That's not actually happening, but I'm trying to pull that rig down towards my hip with my arms staying nice and straight, using my lats so my feet have less distance to travel. That also creates the space for my chest to come through so now I can generate the power by pulling down the bar. To pull down the bar and to be able to get your body up and back requires lat strength. It also requires lat stamina and lat endurance. So that's why a lot of times we can get our very first toes to bar or maybe two or three, but then we can't get more after that. So this drill is gonna really help you strengthen your lats and create more endurance and stamina so we can start to string our toes to bar. All you need is a PVC pipe and a band. I have a red band to make this harder. You can stick the PVC pipe through the double band. It's just looped around the rig post. From here, I wanna think about kind of nice long neck. We don't want our shoulders up in our ears. We wanna pull our shoulders back and down. That's gonna fire our lat, engage our scaps, which we talked about earlier. With straight arms, I'm gonna pull my palms towards my thighs and release. Palms towards my thighs and release. What this is doing is it's mimicking that movement of me pulling down on the rig it's also forcing me to engage my lats. You'll notice my elbows are not bending and my neck is staying long. So I'm engaging my scaps, I'm engaging my lats to do all of the work for me. If doing the double loop on the band feels like it's a little bit too challenging and you can't get good lat engagement because you're trying to use too many other muscles, just hook the band through the rig and then we'll put our PVC pipe in the band. Starting with the PVC somewhere around our eye height to make sure we're getting that full range of motion. So then pulling down to my thigh from this tall kneeling position. So this will be another option. We wanna be able to work towards a stronger band. We wanna be able to keep those arms straight for at least sets of 12 to 15 reps to make sure that we're strengthening those lats and building the endurance. So a test that we can do to kind of help us determine if maybe mobility is our limiting factor or if strength is our limiting factor is starting with V-ups. If we can get on the ground and we can crank out V-ups, touch our feet to our hands without any issue, then we've probably got plenty enough mobility to do toe to bar. And maybe it's our lat strength that we need to work on to be able to emulate that same movement hanging from a pull-up bar. If we get on the ground and it's a challenge for us to get our hands to our feet, there's a good chance that mobility is our limiting factor and that's what's slowing us down or hindering us from getting our toes all the way up to the bar which can then give us a little bit insight of I need to spend more time on my mobility or I need to spend some more time maybe strengthening my core and or my lats. 
So a quick recap, we went through hand position, head position, body position and tip and pulling down the bar. And then do we have the mobility to get our toes to the bar and the strength or are we lacking one or the other? We hope this video was super helpful. If there's other movements you wanna see us break down to maybe give you guys some tips so you can keep crushing your workouts, please drop those in the comments below and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.